Hi, Kim. Hi, Nathan. This is an incredible spot you have here. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Texas. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your home. We love it here in Texas. Um, you know, we're on six acres. We um, have animals. I noticed a creek down there. We have a creek down there, yeah, which beautiful. is super nice. Yeah. Yes. But in your email, I, I did I read that right? You have six kids? Six kids. And yes. And I know kids come with a lot of toys, right? A lot of toys. Not going back into the same spot when they're done? Absolutely not. Nathan, no, these are kids. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you want a little help getting that organized? I would love to get that organized. All right, let's yeah. take a look. Okay, sounds good. All right, so here we have um, our garage. Yep. We have a lot of items in here. We'd really like to get it organized because we'd love to put like a ping pong table or something in here. Yeah, and you, got, you have the room for it. It's a huge space. And this looks like a nice wall, like a blank canvas. I picked up a bunch of parts and pieces that we can hang up there. It's a really customizable kit. And what's cool over the years, if your needs change, you can take it down, reorganize it. I have the parts out front if you want to take a look. Yeah, that'd be great. So there's a few things I would recommend that we don't store inside the garage. Things like photos, food, perishables, musical instruments. You know, it's not a climate controlled space. Okay. But I wanted to talk about the storage system I picked out. But first, let's cover kind of an older method. This is a pegboard style. It's a little bit more on the light duty side. It can't really handle the load that we want because we want to hang bikes and we want to put heavy boxes on. Okay. So I went with a more modern track system like this. It's really customizable. We'll attach it directly to the studs. It can handle a really heavy load. What's great is you can buy a bunch of different types of hooks. You can buy brackets for it. The brackets go into those drops and you can put shelving on it so we can right. put our boxes up. Um, it's really easy to install. This is a little bit of a different system. We're gonna attach this directly to the studs as well. This will be great for smaller hand tools. You even have a magnet right here so you can throw some stuff up there when you're not using it. Cool. But I think the first thing we need to do is get that garage emptied. Okay, All sounds right. good. All right. <laughs> does this count as cardio and weight training? It does. <laughs> All right, let's start by putting up this seven foot track. Okay. What I'd like to do is set it at a height that you can reach the top of. Okay. In case you want to swap out the, the pieces over time. Okay. So now that we have that left end attached. Okay, and I'm gonna grab my, grab another screw and my torpedo level. Okay. So I'm just gonna tell you up or down and that'll level the track out. So go up a little bit, up, up, up. All right, a little bit more right there, perfect. That's nice and level. It looks like it's, you know, a little bit lower on this end. Is it does, reason? yeah, it has a little bit, looks like it's pitching down, but if we put the torpedo on, this is perfectly level. Okay. But if we put it on this top plate, it pitches a little bit down. Okay. So the important thing is to get this perfectly level because we're going to have all those shelves that are going to come down off of that. So we're going to add an extra screw to every stud that we come across. It'll be really strong, level, and that's just what we want. Okay, perfect. Now that we've got that on, we can actually click this on. So to me, just a little bit. Back to you, right there. Perfect. All right. Oh, cool. Now we can literally just start hanging attachments right off of that. Oh, okay. All right, time to put the top shelf on. Okay. So we'll favor the right a little bit. Okay. And then those come through the front, and then fall it all the way back, and you want to pull this down a little bit, and then slide that lock in. Can I put my tub on there to see what it looks like? Give it a try. Yeah, let's see. Oh, that's so nice. This, it would be nice to break on four studs. So this would actually be perfect right here. Okay. It's getting it easier and easier. This is... Ah. Ah, oh, the shovel. So do I put my shovel on my hook or on my... So with this one, if it's... If it's Tall, tall enough, you can do something like that. Wow. Or you can probably go with this one, you can probably go in and put your hand oh, on Oh, yeah. On. You can tell you've done this before. This looks good. Okay, so we measured the larger bike, okay. and it was 66 inches. I'm gonna add two inches to bring it off the ground a little bit to the, where the hook is. Okay. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna do 68 inches here. Mm -hmm. Do you want it to go any lower? For the next one, you want to keep them all up at 68. I think keep them all at 68. So as they grow mm -hmm. and as their bikes you are larger, have... we don't have to worry about moving it around. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit three studs with our track. It's going to be that way. And what we can do 
this we'll try and put it right on a stud. Okay. Here, and here. That is so cool. All right. That looks awesome. All right, they make this awesome ladder hook so we can hang your ladder up right here out of the way. How's it going, guys? Good. What do you think? Am I dreaming right now? This is real life. You got your bikes hanging up on the end there. Right, and as you get older, you can swap out your bike and it'll always be tall enough for you. We got the ladder hanging up, but we need your help to fill up all the rest of this. So let's go grab some stuff and fill it up. All right, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Nice. Smart. Easier for you guys. Put that right there. And then these tennis balls, why don't you try hooking that right onto the... Okay. You can go right on both. That way it'll stay nice and level. Yep, and then it's perfect. Look at that. Good job. Good job. That's good. Whoa, look at you. You did good. All right, guys, what do you think? It looks, looks good. good. Thank like you. It? Really Perfect. Nice. Really cool. I think you got a lot of room right here. Maybe a ping pong table or something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talk to mom and dad. <laughs> ping pong table? Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you for coming out. Thanks for visiting us here in Texas and Absolutely. helping us get organized. Any, anytime. Take care, guys. All right. Bye, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.